Welcome to segment number 11 of our V2 build series. In this segment, we'll be completing final assembly of our model. After we finished the decal application process, I started to take a closer look at the model, and one thing kind of bugs me. We spent all this time working on installing these fasteners in here, but we really can't see them that well with this dark paint. Let's take a look at the completed model we showed you in segment one of this series. Note the same joint on this model. Now I've put a dirty wash in here to help highlight the fastener detail and bring out some of our work there. I'd like to do the same on this model as well. The question is just how much detail will be brought out by a dirty wash here. It certainly can't do any harm, but we're gonna go ahead and try it anyway. Here are the tools we'll need for this particular step. First, I've got some burnt umber oil paint, some terpenoid odorless mineral spirits, a disposable plastic cup for mixing. I have a paintbrush that I use only for this task. And I've got a handful of Q-tips. I'm gonna take a small bit of the oil paint about the size of a pea. Actually, I'm going to use the Q-tip to get that off. See, it's not a very big bit. I'll open up my turpenoid and I'll put probably a quarter ounce of that material down in there. I'll use the Q-tip to mix that up, breaking up the little pea-sized bit of oil paint. Effectively, what we're trying to do here is create some muddy water. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to discard the Q-tip at this point, and we'll bring our model in. Okay, we're ready to go. I should point out that I am using magnification for this step. What I'm going to do is wet the brush with the dirty terpenoid mixture, and I'm going to gently flow that into the joint between the fuel tank section and the motor section. I don't want to get any oil paint on either side of that. I just want it down in the crevice. If we should inadvertently get any oil paint on either side, that's no problem. We can easily clean it up with one of our Q-tips. So let's get started. Okay, we've completed putting the wash into that joint. I don't know how well that's going to show up on camera, but there is a, a definite darkening of that joint on this model. It's a very simple technique. It's a common weathering practice used by modelers, especially uh, armor modelers, and uh, it could be utilized just about anywhere on this particular model. I've chosen to use it in a very restrained fashion just on this one point because this is, after all, a model of a museum display, and it is in pretty good shape. We'll let that dry for a little while. There's a couple little spots I'm gonna clean up with a Q-tip off camera. We're now in the home stretch and ready to complete final assembly. 
I've brought out the pre-painted exhaust vanes as well as the warhead tip that we already prepared. What we're going to do is glue these in to their respective locations using medium CA glue. I've got a piece of notebook paper right over here. We're going to create a little puddle of that and dip the part in there before applying it to the model. Before we do that though, I'd like to take a quick look at our already completed model and draw your attention to the exhaust veins. Notice how the exhaust veins, the base of each vein, is parallel to the bit of fin right next to it. That's what we want to, to replicate on our new model. I'll create a small puddle of CA over here. We'll pick up the first vein, dip the tip of it in the CA glue, insert it into the hole in the root of the fin, and I'll just hold that there for a moment until the, the glue sets up. There, all of our exhaust vanes are in place. Time for the warhead tip. Same process. And with that, assembly of our V2 model is complete. Thanks for watching and please visit our website at www.spacemonkeymodels.com. Thanks again.